today, I will teach you how to schedule stock transfer to our hospital management systems departments from the stock room. So from here, these items here will be transferred to the departments because they cannot invoice an items unless departments has an inventory to invoice when they check out the patients. Each department in the hospital has their own inventory and those inventory will come from this stock room inventory. So this stock room will transfer an items inventory to each separate departments. By doing so, I will show you how to do that. From here, you will go here in per department pick and pack list schedule. So click, for example, the present date. It's called per department pick and pack reserve dispatch schedule because here all the departments have separate needs. So all those departments, they need to pack what needs to be transferred to their departments by our stockroom personnel. So for example, at 9 a.m., they schedule to pack a specific items from this supplier. So let's choose the supplier. Let's choose Clingo. So the hospital department that they need to transfer that item is in, for example, in clinical chemistry department. So click submit. So you see the date is there, present date, automatic, unique transaction ID from the stockroom supplier. This is the hospital department. So click submit. So you will see it's there. This is the supplier, transaction number. So this is the schedule 9 a.m. tomorrow, for example. And click pencil. When they click pencil, they need to put like DR number or delivery number for, for this. Let's just say number 5. They will pick it today and they will dispatch it tomorrow because they need to pick and pack that today. But everything will be dispatched tomorrow or they can also dispatch within the day after they pick and pack the items that needs to deliver to this clinical chemistry department. So date of delivery can be today also. So, they need to put required item to reserve for them. For example, they need to transfer the trash bag XXL. So, they wanted to transfer to. So, click. You put the number here. And this is the available is inventory for this specific item. And this is the SKU. So, you put whatever this department asked. So, for example... The chemistry department asked for two, two pack. So you click two, you put two, and then you click post, and then close. So it's there. Two is your required pack that needs to be pick up and transfer. So click pick, and it will show you the location of those items in your stock room so you can choose whenever this location is so for example i will choose this rack so i will get the two items here that i required so i required two that's the requirement so you need to put two and click pick so you see because i required two this is 20 pieces a while ago because i picked two pieces it becomes 18 and then close once you do that, it will show you if you already get this item, the required item, and it will click and it will show obtain. But if it's not yet, you did not fulfill it yet, it will not, this obtain will not show. So this is the two pieces that you required and the 
left number of inventory in that specific item is 18 pieces. So click update added products. So there. Once you click the update added products, it will show you this. You may click this, print pick list allocation. It will show you this. This is the paper that the stockroom personnel can print to show like, okay, please check as are these really the items that you wanted us to deliver or to transfer in your departments. And they may click the print delivery receipt if they wanted to deliver the items na. This is the items or the receiving items that that department need to sign that they receive these items in their department. That's how to schedule the stock transfer from our stock room going to our specific department. In the next video, I will teach you how to dispatch these items that has been scheduled for delivery to this clinical chemistry department. Watch out for that next video. Thank you.